Minnesota at Penn State. This is a big one on ABC, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. It is the whiteout game for Penn State. And as it currently sits, we do not know. That's not what I wanted to pull up. There it is. Uh, we do not know if Sean Clifford is going to play. We do not know if uh, Tanner Morgan is going to play. Um, I think the biggest question in this game is, can Penn State replicate what Illinois' defense had planned for Minnesota's offense. I mean, they completely shut them down. Uh, the favorite in this matchup is 3-1-2 and two against the spread in the last six games. So it is just right on, just right on the number every single time, it feels like. Uh, this line is actually coming down a little bit. It's down to Penn State minus four, total of 44.5, of course, over at BetUS. Minnesota 8-2 and two against the spread in their last 10 road games. Penn State just absolutely got walloped last week by Michigan. Um, 6-20-2 against the spread in their last 28 after a straight-up loss. But this team is 4-0-1 against the spread after allowing 40-plus points. Well, last week, 41-17, that means 40-plus for Michigan last week, uh, which means that that Penn State trend, mm, we'll see. My number has at Penn State minus one, basically one and a half, 1.42. I'm not sure that you can really bet on this. Uh, if you're going with backup quarterbacks, I think Drew Alar, the backup for Penn State, is probably better than what Minnesota put out there. But, I mean, it could be wrong. We haven't seen it. We've got a very small sample size of uh, both of these teams here. Um, you look at this situation here. Um Da, 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 da. We're looking at Penn State strength of record number seven, Minnesota number thirty six. Both of them have played horrid strength of schedules. Uh, anytime they have gone up against good teams, like in actual good teams, they have uh, run into problems. We'll say that Penn State had their first real test of the year, and yes, I understand Purdue was a test. They were able to pass that one because of matchups, right, and just overwhelming them as far as talent goes. Uh, but it's not like Purdue didn't slow them down. It's not like Purdue didn't stop them. You look at Minnesota's defense, obviously the numbers are still good, but they don't look as good as they did earlier. I mean, this whole thing was green before that. Um, you look at the offense, the offense numbers still good. Still good. Uh, rushing explosiveness, definitely down, especially since Mo Ibrahim uh, missed that game against... Uh, I've already forgotten who who he missed the game against. Uh not Illinois. They played Illinois last week. I don't remember. Regardless, it doesn't matter because, oh, it was against Purdue. There you go. Um, I tend to lean Penn State here because of the wideout. I don't care who the quarterback is. I think they're going to be much more hyped for this. I think the fans are going to be hyped. Uh, it is tough to get everybody excited when you just got your brains beat in. By Michigan. However, if you were ever going to do it, it would be for the whiteout game against a team like Minnesota, who you know that you can beat them. Turnover margin certainly leans towards Penn State. Uh, you look at penalties per game, that leans towards Minnesota. So maybe we've got a wash as far as the fundamentals go. But I think Penn State's defense is better than Minnesota's defense. And even though Penn State's offense is not as good as Minnesota's offense, I think Penn State can replicate a little bit on defense what Illinois was able to do against them. I don't have to do a full breakdown on this because, my gosh, we don't even know who the quarterbacks are going to be. Uh, there's going to be people out, et cetera. It's, it's, it's weird, right? This is weird. I'm going to take Penn State. I'm going to take Penn State to cover the four. Uh, I think that the wideout night game at home certainly adds a bunch of value that you cannot properly put into a spreadsheet. So we'll make this easy. Give me Penn State to cover the four. I like it.